it invests a lot more in education, especially kindergarten. Tim Blotz is here now to break it all down for us. Tim, you were there the whole session. And this is kind of the culmination of the education package. And you know what? This is one of the marquee pieces of legislation that the legislature just passed. Of course, the governor just signed today. What this translates into is really a lot of money. We're talking about $234 million in the next biennium. That's the next two years. And it's going to help repay back the school shift a lot faster. A big component of this is early childhood education. We're talking about $40 million during the next two years to send 8,000 kids on scholarships to early childhood education programs. We're essentially talking preschool here. But a marquee piece of all of this is all-day kindergarten. $154 million over the next two years to allow parents to send their kids to kindergarten all day long. For the past six years, the North St. Paul School District has offered full-day kindergarten. Here's a look as to how they've made it work. Can you guys believe you're going to be first graders? In Deline Sanders Richardson Elementary School kindergarten class. They had an old station wagon. The That's children are here every day, all day. And when she's not reading to them, she's teaching them. Like right now, they're doing um, word sorts where they're taking blends of letters and putting them together with the sounds of uh, pictures. This is not the kindergarten class of the past. By the time school ends here in a couple of weeks, you will have how many students reading at an advanced level? I would say over half the classes at an advanced level, a D or higher. That's about a second grade level. And the North St. Paul School District has already seen the payoff in student achievement. In 2007, prior to all-day kindergarten, MCA test scores show North St. Paul third through fifth graders had reading proficiencies of 69%. After all-day kindergarten in 2012, they jumped to 77%. Similar results are seen in math proficiencies rising from 67 to 75 percent. And Principal Jim McLosage says it's also reduced the achievement gap between white and minority students by nearly 10 percent. The information that we've been able to gather here in North St. Paul uh, would show that our MCA test scores have risen incrementally over the years that we've had the all-day kindergarten. We've been able to track it up through both third, fourth, and fifth grade. Which is a big reason why all-day kindergarten is included in the new education budget signed today by Governor Dayton and hailed by the bill's authors. This is a great day. It's not only a home run, it's a grand slam. Every school district may not see the same results as North St. Paul, but at least here, teachers argue it has worked. People have an image of kindergarten, of you know, taking naps and things of that nature. This is a really rigorous program. No, I can guarantee you this is not the same kindergarten classes that my own kids went to a few years ago. When we talk about all-day kindergarten, a lot of the parents are already asking, okay, when? Well, 2014 is when all of this will kick in for fully funded all-day kindergarten. The early childhood education grants or scholarships, those could take effect as soon as this fall. Guys, back to you. All right, Tim Spendy, but tough to argue with some of those stats.